Hello and welcome to this Friday evening stream. That's right, we're on Midland Mainline and we've got the class 170, uh, this time in cross-country livery. So this is a livery that's uh, been taken off Creators Club. I, I have to say it looks fabulous and I love the fact that we can run this now on uh, middle and main line. We are supposed to, so just to say I'm doing this in free roam We're kind of replicating the Nottingham to Cardiff service. We'll go between Nottingham and Derby uh, a couple of stops along the way at uh, Beeston and Long Eaton. We're due to depart at seven minutes past uh, We need to be getting into Beeston at 13 minutes past and Long Eaton at 24 minutes past so I think it's time for us to depart. It's nice to see plenty of you already in the chat so let's just bring up the power can we depart can we blow the horn absolutely there we go so in the chat we've already got nathan crazy plays a clash of clans player welcome in hope, hope hope you're all doing well marco random username that's slightly speeding already and we've got fog which is not what we want. There we go, we're 15 out of here. Okay, looks good. Uh, Rico, welcome in as well. Finn's Barriers, welcome in. How are you all doing? Get up to uh, 25 now. I don't want any. F oh no, I want the cloudiness. I just don't want fog. There we go. If in doubt, get rid of the fog. <laughs> There's a 158 coming into Nottingham. And you'll notice it's in a northern livery, so I need to sort that out. <laughs> so that shouldn't be that shouldn't be subbing in. But we will see that um, a little bit later on in a uh, scenario that I've downloaded from uh, Creators Club that I believe does utilise that. Let's put the power on so we can get up to 50 now. Uh, crazy, am I excited for Simmering Barn? Yeah, that looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, something that will be coming soon, of course, uh, on the 18th. I'm really, I think the thing I'm uh, most looking forward to next is the roadmap next week to see uh, what gets announced, whether we actually, um, whether we actually uh, do get the class 380 that's been kind of teased. So yeah, it should be interesting. Uh, Finsbury's, how do you get that menu up? It is a mod that I'm running. It's called, it's called God Mode. Uh, unfortunately, that's only available on the PC. But off to Beeston we go. Look at this. Beautiful livery. Absolutely Clash Clans, but we will take it just as far as Derby. We hit, we'll have a stop at Beeston and uh, Long Eaton as well. Uh, crazy, you've just played some ETS. Very nice. I'm sure you're having a good time. Uh, Nathan, do you think they'll announce the Scott Roll 158? Um, I think they might give us an update on what we can expect. Uh, Finn's Barriers, you're on PC, is it money? No, it's a free download from Train Sim Community. Uh, do you recommend Five Circle? No, not in its current form. Um, I want to wait and see what uh, Rivet do with the timetable and some of the awful scenery. <laughs> Hopefully that gets addressed fairly soon. It's starting to break here for what will be Beeston, if I'm not much mistaken. Just make sure. Uh, 
We are slowing for the right. My geography's. Yeah, let's be some right. Yeah, we are. We're doing. We're good. We're slow. We're slow for the right stop, which is always good. <laughs> uh, crazy, you're driving the Skoda, and some people told uh, told you you should uh, tell the other other Skodas how to drive. <laughs> I guess they're not driving very well. Uh, Mathers, the scenery on Five Circle what, is shocking. Yep, agreed. Uh, Nathan, much better with the mods. Certainly is. I agree with you on that. Here we are coming into Beeston. So we were actually due into Beeston 30 minutes past. I'm actually using a real timetabled uh, service for the timings. There we go. Bring it to a stop. And there is our beautiful Class 170. It does look very nice. Ignore the fact it's Scott Rail inside. <laughs> uh, crazy, they're really bad uh, drivers, mostly they were taking traffic. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, Nathan, you tried reinstalling Microsoft Flight Simulator on your computer. Had to do massive update. Could take days because it's 500 gigs. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's a pretty hefty update that you need to do. Uh, let's say it's on <laughs> X Scott Rail. Yeah, oh, I'll go with that. Uh, crazy. But cross country couldn't afford to uh, redo the seats. You know, that's not half wrong, probably, in reality. <laughs> it's such a shame that we will probably never see the cross cross country uh, livery properly in the uh, the game. And as we've got a uh, HST right behind us. Now making its way. very slowly as we uh, depart from Beeston, so we are holding it up. <laughs> Since when did cross countries have 170 slash four? No, there's a lot of uh, imagination going into this. <laughs> so 1224 is when we need to be at Long Eaton. Uh, crazy, yeah, you find it good that in Germany there won't be any more rail strikes. Oh, that's that's amazing. There's lots of rail strikes happening um, like today and this weekend in the UK, which is causing, uh, yeah, uh, as you can imagine, a lot of disruption. Okay, we've got a double yellow carbon up, but that's just stepped up to a green. I do like the cross country livery, it does look very nice. Cruising along at 80. That's quite nice that we uh, can uh, sort of stretch the legs of the 170. We do have double yellow coming. Here in Germany, the Travis Drain Union uh, and DB were able to get an agreement, that's good. Break in. 
this will be, uh, I should imagine, probably approach control uh, to go across. I never remember the uh, the name of the uh, junction here. Okay, you can see that the uh, feathers illuminated single yellow. Workers over to the right will acknowledge. Not quite doing 30 yet. There you go, 30. And across we will go. Uh, Nathan, uh, you annoyed that uh, the week you went to Edinburgh, the Glasgow Central trains were terminating short at uh, Carfin due to X. Ah, that's frustrating. slow a little bit more across the junction here it is a 10 mile an hour uh, limit which is very slow was red but it's uh, just stepped up which is all good put a little bit of power just to get us to the 10 mile an hour uh, Nathan by the way for the 11 line uh, coming to TSW at the start of it or is it gonna be very slow 10 mile an hour um, not too sure I'll have to wait and see what actually gets implemented I'm still a little bit uh, skeptical um, that it'll ever come because this is Rivet Games we're talking about. Uh, random username, you were at Edinburgh yesterday. Very nice. Uh, crazy, you deleted your 500 minute route in City Bus Manager, made it, uh, made it into three separate routes. Was it uh, just not working or too many delays, perhaps? Oh, okay, Nathan, it is, yeah, 10, 10 mile an hour across the Thornton Junction. Down to 10. There it is. Did want it to run 24-7. That's fair enough, crazy. Random username. Uh, won't be train... Sorry, I'm not, caught. not sure what you're saying there. Uh, crazy and it took 50 years to edit. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine it was uh, struggling trying to, to make any edits to that. Very slowly crawling across the junction. Go. Okay. We're under 70 now. got Long Eaton coming up. Uh, Nathan, the middle main line needs TS, uh, on TSW needs extending for iconic fight board just around between Nottingham and Derby Leicester. Yep, Matlock uh, or Sheffield. I think the extensions just to Sheffield would be very popular and also with a uh, class treble two. That would be very fun. Uh, crazy, you do prefer. Oh, there's 158. Nice. Uh, you prefer uh, set your bus manager when starting in a small town rather than a major. Yep. I can see. I can see why. I like the uh, building up from nothing to uh, starting small with sort of mini buses, etc. So I can get behind that. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, I was too busy trying to get out of the way to pole. We'll ignore the fact that I'm over the, the 
the end. We'll pretend that I'm not, and we'll just look at it this way. <laughs> Now the question is, are we going to be holding anything up behind us? And yes we are. There's a HSD coming towards us. Uh, Nightmare Gamer, welcome in. How you doing? Where is that HST? Oh, I'm getting squished here by the uh, bridge. There it is. Right, let's shut our doors. Uh, not too sure, Nathan. I think that might be a little way off by the signs of it. Right, off we go to Derby. You're generous with your <laughs> timetable for service at 6 and 1. That is very generous. Is that even profitable? I don't know. Seventeen cross country livery. Wish TSW was multiplayer. Yeah, I can see the attraction of that. It could be quite fun. Crazy, your city trams and buses start at 6 on a Sunday, so just decide why not stop 6. Fair enough, yeah. Don't blame you. Of course, we've got Cargo Line Volume 2 coming very shortly to the Midland Main Line. I'm sure we'll find out a little bit more about that hopefully next week in the roadmap as well. Uh, Nathan, I reckon go to Mark Inch. We've got the right side of the circle. And I'm a gamer, wish uh, multiplayer would make TSW so much more fun. Yeah, agreed. Um, I can imagine that being quite fun. Uh, crazy, they start exactly two hours later, trams, except for one route, which has a service starting at 5.20 on Sunday. Okay. Ooh, the old first uh, Scott Rail livery. That's got, like, the hints of pink in it, hasn't it? Which is pretty cool. We are limited to 100 miles an hour in the uh, in the 170, even though we'll be soon going into a 115 speed limit. Once it gets up to this sort of speed, it's, the acceleration does really slow down. So, looks like we've got a double yellow head. As we went over the magnet, it turned green. How about that? Callum, welcome in. How are you doing? Got an 
185 uh, coming up, so what we'll do is we'll come off power. Get a little bit of natural braking from the gradient anyway. Uh, Nathan, it's weird to see a first got rail livery with new interior. Yeah, I imagine it's um, still got the Scott rail livery or liveried interior. Uh, Callum, you're doing an empty coach service uh, to Mark Inch on Five Circle. Very nice. And uh, Nathan, with uh, Gold Mode, is there a way you can adjust the driver's height position? I don't believe so, no. There's 85, which we're well under. slow to 75 in a second it's the warning board for it there we go yeah I do like the zoom but um, when I'm flicking between between screens uh, I can accidentally zoom out and zoom in it so it gets a little bit irritating. <laughs> uh, random username, you're downloading an UMC2 map. Very nice. What map are you downloading? Uh, the AWS for the upcoming 30. So get a break on. Uh, Nathan, you're going to do a run from Haymarket Depot to Leven, which uh, happens in real life, uh, for the mor uh, morning driver train. Very nice. Uh, Bowdenham V5. Oh, okay. So here we are. Going past... Uh, Zetches Park, I believe, isn't it? Get down to 30. Actually, I think we need to be down to 25. There we go. HST in as well, very nice. Well, that is some weird. Oh no, that's probably right actually. Yeah, that is right. I thought it was sending us a weird way there. And we'll bring us to a stop uh, around here, I reckon. Uh, Nathan, you're going to reverse a Haymarket, go to 11, uh, then back to Glen Rose and back to 7. That's pretty cool. I'm going to open the doors. Crazy. I hope one of your favourite transport YouTubers uh, uploaded a new uh, video today. Who's that? Uh, crazy. Uh, afternoon, Train Hunter. Welcome in. How you doing? Uh, crazy. You're going to start a new save on Seabus Manager. <laughs> You've got enough of it. You're going to have plenty of saves. There we go, there is our 170, so that is a service from Nottingham all the way to, sorry, from, yeah, Nottingham all the way to Derby. What we'll do next is a scenario that I've downloaded from Creators Club. And uh, we'll go the other way now, from Derby to Nottingham. Uh, someone who makes videos on the New York uh, City Tour, oh, pretty cool. Nice doing all night change. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Uh, nope, I want to go to Creators Club. Scenario. I want to say it's this one. I think. Yeah. Let's uh, play that. 
Uh, train of C. Welcome in. How you doing? Now time to look on Google Maps and find a nice place to start for like 10 hours. That's pretty cool. And we've got rain as well. I don't think I've driven the 170 in rain yet. So this would be a little bit different. I haven't actually checked this out. So I've got... Uh, Like running, yep, that will do. Okay, there's our 170. Uh, we've got safety systems, of course. Uh, Trying to see, glad you're doing well. I'm doing well, thank you. Crazy, you might uh, actually do a big C. Oh, okay, it'll be a bit different. Right, we can lock our doors. We can be ready to part. Once we get the buzz. Away we go for Nottingham. So we've got to stop at uh, Long Eaton and then Beeston and then Nottingham. Oh yeah, we need wipers. That is a good shout. Where's the wipers on this? Wiper driver, uh, probably want slow. Ooh. That's a HST over there in cross country livery as well. I must have downloaded the right one after all. That's pretty cool to see. Hi nice, Matt, welcome in, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing very well, thank you. Nathan, you have to sit at Haymarket for 20 minutes, uh, which is the time the 11 train departs. Don't know why, why it's this for so long. Maybe it's uh, waiting to pick up um, perhaps the drivers for training, don't know. You might start uh, in a town that borders two other countries. Ooh, that would be quite, quite cool actually. Again, between different uh, different countries. At least no strikes in TSW4. Yeah, <laughs> That's, that is very true. So Long Eaton next. Quite nice in this kind of uh, dusk kind of time. Uh, crazy, you're gonna start in a oh in Basel. Very cool. Where are you gonna head to first, Nathan? I uh, believe the uh, eleven driver training trains uh, also conducts doing the train as well. Oh, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Uh, train FC, you've been transporting on the West Coast mainline today, and yesterday you saw the ROG uh, 37884, 57311 local services, livery, ROG 157s, the Avanti 805s, and your first class 90. Very, sounds like you uh, saw a great mix of, uh, of rolling stock there. Uh, crazy, you're bordering uh, France and Germany. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, trying to see, got six tones from the 805. Another one of the 800 uh, series. It would be so cool to have the West Coast mainline in Trains and World. Uh, there's just some stuff that puts me off from doing UK saves. Uh, that's fair enough. 
I can imagine it's also very cool to do um, other parts of Europe and uh, see, explore places that you wouldn't normally. What do you think the new, new UK route might be? I have, I think it might be connected to the 380 if that's, um, if it is actually coming and it wasn't just a prank. Otherwise, no idea. Uh, the problem with UK OpenStreetMap doesn't show a lot of the birds. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it will be connected to the 380. I don't... Unless they do some kind of Cathcart remastered, but I don't feel like... It doesn't feel like the obvious thing for just a, a loco DLC. Uh, random username. Yeah, there are a lot of things that don't get fixed. I will agree with, with you on that. Need uh, Cathcart remastered. Um, it would be cool, but then I kind of feel like surely there are other routes that could do with being made first before remastering old, uh, old routes. Get slowing for Long Eaton. Feels like they fix the things that are major problems. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not wrong, crazy. Uh, TSW PS4. Oh god, what the heck? TSW PC. No, I need. Yeah. Uh, welcome in Samuel by the way I think uh, the uh, modding community certainly significantly improves uh, TSW as a, a franchise so I do feel for you know if you're if you are on um, console oh we are flying past this uh, if you're on console you don't benefit obviously from the mods which absolutely sucks um, but it shouldn't be down to modders to fix, it should be done right in the first place by, by Dovetail. Yeah, we ain't stopping here. <laughs> we might get one carriage in the... Uh... Yes, stop beeping at me. Let's see if we can do the guard panel and get SD. I wonder if is this. Uh, that's not how to do it, but I just wanted to make sure I was in. Uh, was that's not the panel. That's the panel. Um, Release. I have no idea what I was doing now. <laughs> I have not mastered the guard panel, it's fair to say. I should hire modders instead. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, 
Where we go. Get rid of rivet. Yep, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't disagree with that. Still can't get the 117 mod to work. That is very odd. Uh, Nathan, Scott Rail. It's got a limited service that runs from Adalmia to Carstairs. Crazy modders should just take over Rivet Games. Rivet Games should be bought by Just Trains. Yeah, Just Train. I'm really eager to know what uh, Just Trains are going to do next. That would be cool. Uh, Rivet could do the mod uh, modeling, leave it to us for the science. Yeah. They certainly can model very well. It's just the rest of it that lets it down. Nathan's about to depart from Haymarket's 11. Very nice. Uh, crazy, you're eager to uh, know what all these new third party devs are going to that were announced at Dovetail Re Direct are going to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the names you recognize from Train Sim Classic, but not all of them. Yeah, I think it will be really interesting to see what uh, what will come next. Yeah, I definitely want to know what Just Change is doing next, since the the huge success they had, obviously, with Blackpool. Uh, Nathan, uh, there's an Azuma arriving at Haymarket right now from Glasgow Central to King's Cross. Oh, very cool. Demon Eyes, where's the face cam? Unfortunately, don't do face cam. Roll up and get up to thirty. Okay, it's certainly a little bit dark now, really. This uh, service is a little bit late in the day, so it gets difficult for people <laughs> to see, sadly. So, we'll do a uh, the next one in the day so we can see the beauty that is the middle main line. Uh, Dean and I, sorry, got mixed up with a different person. No problem. Ooh, another 170 there. Going the opposite direction. That's pretty cool to see. We should be able to bring the power up in a second when we uh, pass the speedboard. Get up to 80, there we go. And we got Beeston in three miles. Uh, Demon Eyes, you'd like them to see the. Uh, like them to bring in class 158, 220, 390. Yeah, very great suggestions. Voyager, Pendolino, that would be pretty cool to see. I'd have to, have to agree. So Beeston in two and a half miles. Uh, do, you nice, uh, do you have any suggestions on what service you would like to see? Do you mean which uh, which trains or which routes?
Dexter, welcome in. How you doing? Boots and trains. Uh, I'd like to see something on the West Coast Main Line, definitely. That would be the kind of next and possibly more East Coast Main Line. Uh, glad you're well, Dexter. Uh, Nathan, for the 170 mod, uh, do I press compress the zip file? No, you don't. Um, it should be a PAC, uh, PAK uh, file, um, not a zip file. Manchester Houston would be good. That's pretty long. Don't think that kind of, sadly, that kind of length. Um, we would probably end up in trains. Well, Birmingham to you, so I'm probably still pretty long, but more likely. That'd be pretty cool with a Pendolino. And a Voyager as well. Um, where's the pack file when you extract it? Uh, sometimes it doesn't need to, the download is not in a zip file. It is just the PAK pack file, so you may not may not need to uh, extract it. So here's Beeston. Uh, imagine if they did Edinburgh to Penzance, that would be impossible because it's too long. <laughs> I think the game could handle it, it's just the amount of time it would take to uh, to produce it. Are 170 and it's cross country livery. Oh, god, there we go. Nottingham next. Uh, imagine if they make a Manchester Piccadilly to Swansea. Oh, that would be with. Um, I would like to see some uh, Welsh routes um, in the game. Actually, in the sort of TFW livery, that would be pretty cool. Cleethorpes Liverpool with a one one eight five. Nice. All great suggestions. They should make Aberdeen to Penzance. <laughs> Definitely another section of the East Coast Main Line would be cool. But no scenery. <laughs> 11 hour route. What have we got coming towards us? 158. Dexter, trains like the 197, 175, 150, 158, 66, 4321, unbranded Arriva and branded TFW liveries. Also, 
Uh, some roots on the Welsh ones, Hollyhead. Yeah, great suggestions. You have so many mods on City Bus, you have 26 mini buses. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh, Nathan, wait to put it in the five circle folder or just the GSW, GSW DLC folder, as Crazy says. Do you have Blackpool branches? I certainly do. It's definitely uh, the best route uh, that's been released for Trains in World 4. Approaching Nottingham now. Uh, Blackpool branches is the same level as Goblin Tim's quality. Yeah, that's probably a fair shank crazy. You prefer the LNER, but you're from Donny, so it makes sense. Yep, yeah, that's fair enough. I do like uh, the Peter Breta Doncaster route, it is pretty cool. Uh, you don't know blame Blackpool branches, but from what you've seen, that's how I'd rank it. Yeah, fair enough. I think. I'd probably put Blackpool slightly ahead just because of the uh, variety of services. Uh, Nathan just crossed the bridge heading towards leaving passing Queensway. Okay, cool. I'm just coming into Nottingham. Demon Ice, you don't like Blackpool because of the pacer. Yeah, the pacer is very, uh, very Marmite. People, some people like it, some people don't. I personally quite like it. I think they've done a, a good job in terms of modelling it. Uh, crazy on the map in Seat Bus Manager's this is to end for some reason that every animal has its own point of interest. <laughs> That's pretty uh pretty funny. Be nice to have the class three three one. Yeah, good shame. Train boy, welcome in, how you doing? Okay. Uh, it doesn't have a yellow on the previous signal. Yeah, there's something weird going on with that that signal, Nathan. I almost caught caught by it the other day. Uh, they should revamp all the routes and add working lifts and when it's done a free update can be provided. Do you know what? I don't really care that much about the lifts. While it's a you know, nice novelty, I'd rather they spend time fixing the trains and the sounds and the timetable services. And then, if they've got time, go back and do the uh, mess around with the lifts. Glad you're doing well, train boy. Uh, 
Uh, in Basel, there's a tram line that goes from Switzerland into France and back into Switzerland. Oh, that's a bit different. That has been a really fun service, actually. With 170. I think next we will do a HST service from Leicester, I think. It's always fun. Done a couple of runs with the uh, the 170. Come on, finish loading our passengers. Lock our doors. And there we go, that's that service done. Right, let's uh, get a menu. Let's get up the middle of the main line. Let's get a HST. We'll do it in this six car formation. You can see I've done a lot of. <laughs> we'll do. Uh, we'll do Derby to Leicester. We'll do it custom and we'll keep it in black lines. Um, crazy, you're now just going to relax and ride on some trains on Nimble Rails. Very cool. Uh, Dexter, your favourite place to visit, if they added, would be Manchester Piccadilly to Swansea, Holyhead to uh, Carmarthen. Yeah, great shouts. Headlights. Uh, bring. There we go, we should be ready to depart once we finished loading our passengers. HST or class 225. I think the HST. It's, it's just a classic, isn't it? Class 52 Western, the cross country HST on this route. Uh, yeah, that could be quite fun actually. There we go. Perhaps we'll do a HS, cross country HST next. Static stock here. Ignore the northern wolf. I'd really need to get that removed. <laughs> we can accelerate now. Max power. Uh, UK uh, train sports. I really hope they make London Victoria to Bognor Regis, Littlehampton. Be amazing route for 313377. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Class 52 Western, can you reskin the Class 158 to Northern? Uh, yep, yeah, that one you're seeing is from Creators Club. Uh, Nathan, as long as it's in the TSW uh, DLC folder, it should work, so I'm afraid I don't know what's the suggested voice. Uh, free room, camera on controller, I'm on PC so I'm not too sure I'm afraid. Uh, best thing on Nimby Rails is when you have a really smooth and busy section. Yeah, absolutely. Nimby Rails is a lot of fun. Get up to uh, 
see you in a second. You'll test it before all the folders and have a folder called DLC. I think it's you've got to go into content and then DLC. Class with the Jeep Pussy, the EMR route is not that good, but the trains are. I like this route, I do like it. And I like the, the cargo line packs that we keep getting. There's going to be. Um, I'm interested to see what cargo line. Uh, cargo line pack volume 2 does. Especially as it'll add uh, other services to. or extra services to the other routes, such as. Um, Great Western Express, I think it does South East high speed as well. Got up to 100 here. I drove the 52 after this. Um, I think I was going to plan to do a bit of freight on the uh, middle main line next. Don't have a DLC folder, but you have a packs folder. Uh, I'm not too sure then, uh, Nathan. You might, uh, might need to head over to one of the forums and ask there. Uh, Class 52, you're going to buy this route tomorrow and test it out. Um, but have you got West Somerset Railway or Northern Transpennine? Yeah, I've got both of them. West Somerset Railway is, uh, is very nice now with the steam timetable. be okay in the ones in the pack folder then if everything else works I'll put it in there. So Long Eaton's coming up. Probably should get on the break about now I think. Seems we're rolling at 110. I think. <coughs> Got double yellow. Here we are coming into Long Eaton. That is for this 70 speed warning, but we're nowhere near that since we're just rolling into uh, to Long Eaton. For single yellow, uh, class 52 West, what's the difference between the 170 and 171? I believe the 170 is a three car version 
of the turbo star and the 1712 car version, I think, is the only difference. Your East German save that you've been making on Libby Rails, uh, you did with limited money now and 10 billion fares. Wow. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, the cross-country HST would look better than the uh, EMR. Yeah, I, I do like the cross-country livery, actually. In a rain eight months. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Crazy. Right, we've got to try and get as many uh, coaches in as we can to uh, Long Eaton, because we are too long for it. Nicely done there, but we will still uh, overhang, no doubt. Yeah, by a coach and a half. <laughs> Wait, the HST stops at Long Eaton as well? It does on certain services, yeah. Uh, if you can call it a network, because it has one line. Oh, wow. Uh, Class 52 Western, you regret getting this route, don't know why. I really like this route. How come you're regretting it? It's a... I'm not overshooting, there's no overshoot here, it's to get as many uh, carriages in as you can. Because this train doesn't fit in the station. Mikey, welcome in. Uh, evening, uh, Mikey says evening. River Games have had a lot of bad comments, uh, but the 170s are real. Yeah, the 170 is not bad. It's sadly the the route, like the timetable, the services, and the scenery that really lets five circle down. The 170 is is really nice to drive. Just a short hop, under two miles. We've still got a uh, single yellow here, so we'll just see it's back off the throttle. Absolutely class 52 Western. Crazy, find it kind of weird that how you sit your uh, city tram network is bigger than the one in Croydon. <laughs> yeah. Does this DLC have approach control signals? It certainly does, Nathan. Even if it's only bigger around two corners. There you go. change then we were about to fly through that that was that HST just going across there it's pretty cool to see uh, this game would be better if we had in board a night since maybe in train symbol 5 we do not want train symbol 5 yet <laughs> I will shoot anyone down that says that. They just need to make get uh, announced. We've got announcements on the likes of Five Circle, so it can be done. They just need to bring it more widely to train some more for.
Now it's becoming a two smidgens. Uh, it's the 170 mod that doesn't work, but everything else does. Are you? Have you included? Because on the Train Sim community page, there's three separate f uh, folders. So the uh, folders downloads. There's the main one. Then there's 170 um, sound mods, and then there's the bagpipe ones. If you don't want the bagpipes at Edinburgh, if you've got the main one uh, installed for Five Circle. Just thinking it might have a link in to that perhaps. Uh, Goblin Line is really nice. It was a bit of a surprise to I think everyone, the Goblin being so good. Just hit. Go okay, Ratcliffe Power Station. Okay, we've got passengers with their headphones on. Lincoln service coming soon. side if we got coming got anything coming this side oh we literally do oh there it is 158 just coming in now uh should I buy the goblin line or rush hour London commuter from Victoria at the same price. Uh, I would certainly pick up London Vict London Commuter in a uh, sale because uh, that one goes on sale quite often. But that is a fantastic route as well. Uh, crazy feel like once the new tram stop in your city opens, you've got to redo your tram stop skinny. <laughs> yeah, I think you might have to. Do those mods work, um, Nathan? The bagpipes one and the main one. Larson, welcome in. How you doing? Took you three hours, crazy, to read all the traps as well. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, Larson, do you mean is your name Simon? Rather than Larson? Welcome in if it is. Welcome in Simon. Uh, I mean, we didn't count two stops because that's no hard to do. Yeah, fair enough. But I can imagine that's quite a fun challenge to do, see how fast you can get around with the stops.
Uh, class 52, uh, people might hate me, but you like the 42s and 52s more than 43. Yeah, everyone's got their own preference. 42 warship and 52 west. Yeah, everyone's got their own preferences. Not everyone has to like the same thing. Uh, Nathan, don't know what to do because both points of main pack works, but can't get them on sensor. That's very weird. I don't know what to suggest, I'm afraid. schedule at the minute but it's okay I'd say that's just about on time <laughs> See the station, it's just coming into view past this bridge. the horn to those workers on the side there. Another HST coming into uh, Loughborough at the same time. Or is that just flying through? Flying through, not stopping. Uh, train boy, you got, you'll be right, right back, no worries. Have you seen the Class 92 oldest brother, the 93? Uh, I'm unloading, that's fine. Uh, class 93. Is that the... I'm just trying to think if I'm thinking right. Oh yeah, that's the new uh, ROG Leco, isn't it? Yeah, they're just starting to be uh, tested, I think, and brought into the UK. Pretty cool. What service am I doing? This is 1 Charlie 42 at Sheffield 2 at London St Pancras. Uh, and it's a 330 service. Power up. Wonder if it's possible to try. 
transfer a game on Xbox PC to Steam? I don't believe it is, sadly. I think pretty much once you're locked into a platform rule, you you've got to stick with it almost, I think. Class 52, there was a Class 93 at Korean Jane. Very, yeah, very cool. Off we go to Leicester. 10 miles. Sunset Railway, should you buy the 52 and 33? Yeah, they're both great add ons. Yeah, absolutely, which is why I kind of struggle to believe they'll do anything with Five Circle. Let's see if we can get a uh, East Midlands Railway Purple 170 livery from Creators Club. And then we can run it from Leicester to Nottingham. Yeah, sadly, Five Circle should have been made by uh, Dovetail. Would have been probably a hundred times better.
out so nicely for that 150 minutes coming up. Do you think they'll ever add the 158 5 circle? Yeah, because 158 is being made by Skyhook Games, so yes, I think it will. That's probably pretty safe, it's just any updates that come to it. Let's get some brake on as we come up to it. Come on, 90. Connor, welcome in, how are you doing? Uh, glad you're well, Connor. I'm doing well, thank you. Hope it's not too long to the 158 uh, releases. Because uh, this five times timetable is missing a huge amount of services. Yeah, absolutely. It shows that it's definitely services missing. Yeah, can agree more. and coming in nicely to uh, Leicester. Uh, single yellow, that's fine. Uh, Connor, what you drove on the route? We've done a couple of 170 services, now we're on 43, we'll do another 170 service. Should you do an Inter 7 City service? Yeah, why not? That sounds like good fun. There is a train missing, but uh, can't remember what it could be. It's 37, nice. Another HST at, uh, at Leicester. Go from Mark Inch or Waverley. Uh, go from Mark Inch and uh, into Waverley, I reckon. <coughs> HST, so is Connor. goes on these doors a pair of HSTs together very cool and a subway ad why not <laughs> there we go take a plan right let's see if we can get a 170 liver uh, an EMR 170 livery Grace Club, Sharing Hub, yeah. I want to set a cost. Oh, no, what, not 180, 170. Okay, definitely. That's why I hate this Creators Club at times. It's so difficult to find stuff. Uh, 
it's northern. Isn't it northern? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen a Yamaha one. Here we are. Uh, Yamaha. That's the ones that I, I think it's that one that I've been using. Let's use this one, why not? Download that. Uh, they should add a rail tour from St Pancras to Sheffield. Um, looks like you'll be stuck behind a 170 all the way to Waverley. It might be worth just deleting, uh, deleting that service, <laughs> Nathan. Uh, let's put our... This can just be an empty coach run, I reckon. Oh. Why is it not there? Oh. How very odd. Uh, Sharon Hubs, subscriptions. Very interesting. Should show up. Let's try that again. Perhaps it's a bit eager. Let's try that again. Hopefully that livery comes up this time. Oh no, helps if I press 170. Hey, what's going on here? Okay, well, we are doing an empty coach run. I'm saying this is out of service. I set the path all the way to uh, let's go into Etches Park I think uh, I'll go I don't remember how we get into here easily I think what we'll do is we'll set the path I'll find a location I knew it was going to do that. Can I do one of these? Nope. Okay, well, we'll just take it into Derby then. Or at a service for Scythe, clearly not. Not in service, that's the one I want. Uh, I'm just saying this is one that's going to Etches Park, why not? There's trees on the tracks past Mark Hinge. Oh, okay, that sounds a bit odd. Managed to get past the invisible wall of Mark Hinge, now you can spawn the HST, nice. We've got tail lights on still, let's turn those off. Ooh, off, that'll do. Sending us always oh, putting us on the fast. That's cool. Maybe.
we can put a, put our foot down there now. What do we do with this? Oh yeah, that's right. There we got HST coming past. Now we can just sit back and max out this 170 at 100 miles an hour. Let's do a flyby. A little bit further up here, let's pop ourselves here. We're flying. This is a empty coach service to Derby. I'll tell you what, we'll take it into, if we see if we can get it into Etches Park where that, um, I think that's a 158 there, Let's see if we can couple to it. Uh, class 52, you saw the Intercity Two 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 uh, ah two two five. Very nice. This is a lot of fun actually driving the one seventy. I hope it's used on more routes in the future. I can't remember which uh, which operators have got the one seventy. Let's have a look. Scott Rail, Northern East Midlands Railway, and in the past it was First Trans Pennine, Hull Trains, Central Trains, Greater Anglia, South West Trains. Thameslink, West Midlands Railway, Ooh. Transport for Wales, oh yes, there's, there's lots of options to use this 170 on future routes. Perhaps a northern route next, that would be cool. Uh, Nathan, if you ever do a HST from Mark Inch to Waverley, spawn at Signal Pass Mark Inch, then you can go to Waverley. Yeah, that's a good chat actually. Uh, class 52, you mean you saw an in, uh, Intercity 125 uh, was class 253, it got mixed up with the 91s and 42. Uh, okay. Cut along nicely as well. Surprised you've not had any cautionary signals yet. Yeah, you're doing well then, Nathan. What are those sounds? It's like that. Yeah, it's like anyway. There is no Thames Link Class 17. No, I think what I meant was I should have said Southern. Because I think they had some Southern 170s, didn't they? Out 
a uh, hundred. This is a lovely uh, little drive actually. Non stop all the way to, uh, to Derby. Did you know Five Circle route there are trams? Yeah, there sure are. It's the same trams from Edinburgh to Glasgow. There it goes up on the 70. So this is Montserrat uh, sidings. I believe this is going to get a big overhaul um, for Cargo Line Volume 2. So I think watch out for what's what's coming because there has been some nice little tee shots from Skyhook about some of the scenery they, that they've put in here and it does look very nice, I have to say. Uh, class 52, no, unfortunately you can't drive the trams. Uh, why is there no double yellow signals on five circle? Just got a single. Yeah, some some places there are just single yellows. There's no. Du it just goes red, red, yellow, green rather than red double yellow. Sorry, rather than green double yellow, single yellow then red. If there's sort of big enough gap between the signals. Am I doing 99 miles an hour in a class 170? It's permitted to 100, so it's fair game. Uh, Nathan, you're stuck behind a 170, which calls at all stations. Yeah, you're when you get when it gets stuck behind, um, it's not ideal. Let's go through Loughborough. Stay behind the yellow line. Go on fast track if you can. This is the uh, the fast lines. I think we're probably we're not holding anything up. I don't think. Derby, we can uh, see if we can get into Edges Park, perhaps. It's a lovely little drive, this is. Maxing out the 170. <laughs> Crazy, welcome back. Just found out there was an earth cake in New York City, like two, three. Oh wow! 
didn't even know there was um, they were kind of susceptible to earthquakes in that part of America Yeah, I saw, uh, but it wasn't that bad because some people didn't feel anything. Uh, Nathan, there was an earthquake in Taiwan. Yes, it was, it was in Taiwan, that was a massive one. Ten miles to go to Derby. Where mates are we? We must be coming up to yeah. We're coming up to East Midlands Parkway. As you can see Ratcliffe Power Station now. So perfect timing. One seventy slow slow is, is when it's stopping everywhere. Absolutely flying with this 170. Let's just slow this down. Uh, Class 387 Productions, welcome in. I hope they add London to Birmingham. That would be pretty cool with a Pendolino. What does that look like? Snow. That was a bit weird lighting effect. Approach control, taking us down to 70. Lovely stuff. We go off to the left towards Starby. There's Hurricane 2012, obviously. There's also flash flooding at Yo Yeah, of course. Yeah, they do get some extreme weather in New York. Right, let's get up to 80 now. All the subway tunnels, except for one between Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Close. Yeah, I can imagine they were. It's crazy. Class as a HST, so we can get up to 100 now. Right? Uh, crazy, you saw some video where someone uh, tried to use a garbage bag so you wouldn't have to go to different water. <laughs> That's a sight funny. We're getting great acceleration here. Slowly creeping up to 100 again. 
I think the more I drive this 170, I think Rivet had done it, done it justice. It's just a shame about the five circle the route itself and the services at the 170, uh, or the timetable that's on five circle. Should have really released with the 158 at the same time. Uh, Nathan, do you think Edinburgh Glasgow timetable will work on five circle? Uh, well, we can only go as far as Linlithgow. Yeah, I thought we would be able to eventually get a link Linlithgow, as soon as it's there in the game. But we can; those services only run between um, Haymarket and Waverley at the minute, which seems a bit odd. Whether Linlithgow will be used for something else in the future, I don't know. Yeah, agreed. Crazy, they probably will be some on some modders. New York, Texas Railroad, welcome in, how you doing? Is it down for the 85? No problem. Oh yes, we were just talking about that, the small earthquake in New York. That's crazy to hear. Did you feel it? Uh, Nathan, there used to be peak services in the one to Kirkcaldy uh, to Queen Street and Queen Street to Mark Inch, uh, which uses the line at which, uh, which bypasses Edward and joins me. Okay, at Dalmany. So it seems like there's um, more services to be added. Lowest for the 30. Speed's coming down quite nicely actually. Okay, we've got double yellow coming up as we come into Derby. With our cross country 170. Thirty in time. Let's see if we can get some coupling done with these one five eight. Do 
Do you think uh, this mod will get updated with updated motor sounds? Not too sure, um, Nathan. Hopefully it does get some sound improvements. But I think the sounds on the 170 are pretty good to be fair. They could be better of course, but I don't think they're too bad. Considering. I think I might have put this into the wrong platform. Yeah. Nah, that's not worked out very well, is it? I've not been into that siding before. Perhaps that's what we do next. Uh, crazy, it's kind of weird how there's already a night bus when others are starting to run at like midnight in the city, but to a good reason, there you go. Uh, Nate, uh, New York Texas Road, did you just hear a Steam achievement? You sure did. It was for driving the, apparently driving the 170, 170 miles. Uh, right, let's see if I can set this path. I've never been into this, this siding here. I'm hoping... Wait, let's just go down the middle, I think. There we go. Let's let me go. Oh, I've never been into this. Interesting, interesting. Oh, this side. What's this siding got in it at the moment then? I wonder what that is. We're going to do some exploring around uh, Derby, I feel like. Passenger got on your train wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> so what's our path here? Okay, we're just gonna go straight across and straight in. Fair enough. So this is a first. We're taking a passenger to the depot. I don't see any on the... I think we're unloaded at the minute. Oh, it's just very bare. Well, this is slightly disappointing. I was hoping there was going to be more here. <laughs> Tell you what, let's bring that to a stop. There's no point going all the way. Put the reverser off. Lost the key out. Just check there are no passengers. You got me paranoid now. <laughs> uh, remove the path. Set the path. I'm gonna go. I don't think I've ever been down this bit before. Uh, we'll go next to whatever this train is. Uh, 
Uh, you're excited for 2025, crazy? Well, why is that? Uh, you should try getting to Toten Yard. I think I've been into Toten Yard before with the um, uh, with the railhead treatment train. You can just stay on board. I'm just really curious as to what this train is. I don't think I've ever seen a train parked in this bit before. Uh, you get new trams in 2025. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Uh, I think that might be just a HST or wagons. Yeah, I think it. I don't think it's a HST because normally. You kind of get the two ends like there, that's the HST in Dalby at the minute. So, whether it's like a 66 or something, not really sure. Uh, Antarctica's are the best, uh, best trams in your opinion, fair enough, crazy. when we went through that red I had a moment of fear if we go to the left it looks like a shed that is a shed what is that hauling? Oh! Interesting. Interesting. It's the uh, cargo wagons. Cargo like petroleum wagons. Can I hijack it? an actual service <gasps> no active service do you want to leave free room and take this one okay it's not got an active service but I'm taking it I'm not sure where I can go with it because there's no way to flip back round on itself why is it there then I don't get it unless uh, uh, where's the map? Nope. There you go. You can see what extra bits of track are on this map. <laughs> see where they go but oh, the branch goes off there it's not much more is there I don't know how you you can flip this one I'd have to uncouple and then recouple I can't I don't think I can I can uh, I can be bothered with that so a lot of effort I think this is perfect time to wrap up the stream and uh, we have been going for roughly two hours, so I think this is a great point. So thank you everyone for watching along. Um, we'll do uh, another stream probably Monday, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll do one Monday because then Tuesday will be the roadmap stream, which most people want to watch. 
So thanks everyone for watching along. Have a great weekend and I'll hopefully see you Monday. Bye bye for now.